be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make cool melodies in uh, Logic Pro 10 using the step sequencer instantly, okay? Um, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about now. So let's just first off, I got the uh, Alchemy pulled up here. Basically, I created a new track software instrument under instrument we went to alchemy okay um i already have it up here so i might as well not even <laughs> uh do another one but there we go so you want to pick a sound all right so that might be a good one to go with let's let's go with this sound so that's the first thing pick a sound let me turn this up right quick All right, so we're gonna pick a sound and then we're gonna go to the step sequencer. So click the scissors and then you got step sequencer here. Now, <clears throat> the first thing, man, did y'all know that the step sequencer had an inspector window? All right, in the latest version, an update um, at least, there's an inspector window in the actual step sequencer. And so what you wanna do is push this I and then you can start uh coming up with some cool stuff just by uh clicking right next to it actually all right now you can do some stuff here as well but i'm gonna show you two ways this way and this way okay so let's do the instant way the instant way is to click right next to the inspector so right next to this eye and just go to patterns and you can go to melodic and come in here and just put, choose any of these so let's just go with maybe like this eternal uh, or Elizabethan dreams. I think that's what you, how you say that. And now I got an instant pattern right here I can use. Now check this out. All right, so basically we have a good little uh, pattern going here that we found instantly. Now this is gonna be where we can take it to the next level. What I would recommend you doing is just go ahead and grabbing this and it go right over here to this gray area where it says drag reasons here to create instrument tracks. So we're gonna just uh, grab this reason and drag uh, region and <laughs> drag it over here to this gray area and put it into the quick sampler under original. Boom. Now, there's a lot of things that we can do with this uh, pattern, right? So, obviously, we could change the notes in here if we ever wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Move this one here. Take it out. Different things like that. But, let's say if we just wanted to use just this. The first thing I'm always going to try to recommend doing is just go ahead and splicing this up. So we're gonna chop that sample up like this. You could just—it's instantly gonna go ahead and chop it up into different places, uh, a diff different um, segments or whatever. And you could take this and look at your keyboard like this. All right, I'm gonna push uh, Command. All right, K. Okay, pull this up. So I have a MIDI keyboard hooked up, obviously here, but I want you to see what I'm talking about. So. Um, when you have chromatic here, basically means that all of these sample chops will go according to the white and the black keys. If you uh, change that up, you can put it on all the white keys or the black keys. All right. Now, I know this was a video simply about the step sequencer more so, but I just wanted to t like level it up where you could put it with the step sequencer and then come and also drag it in here uh with the quick sampler and sample uh everything so you could change this up if you want to but just remember that however these are laid out you can move these points around you can change the sensitivity here you didn't know what i'm saying so um you can come in here and do manual chops that will take a lot of time so i always just kind of keep it there 
And you can just come over there on the piano and start messing around. Now you got a whole new sound. And you can take these out, right clicking on them, delete slice marker. Different things you could do with it. Obviously you can leave it alone, but even if you didn't do it with this method of taking it and dragging it to the sampler, you still have a dope pattern right here because you can always change the sound. So anyway, y'all get the point. You can pretty much come up with some dope melodies. You can move things around. You can resample this. You can do anything you pretty much want. And it's a quick, instant way to get some different uh, patterns going. I can even switch this up. Mm -hmm. 